OK, we're going to take something apart. This time it's a printer, one I've been given. It's a Canon printer. Quick scan round the outside and there's uh, not very many screws that I can undo. Not making much impression on this yet. I suppose I could always have googled a manual. Yeah, that looks like a handy screw. progress of it now. Let's try that again. Oh, that bit was off screen, typical. Well, no doubt if I'd found a handbook that would have been a bit easier. Anything useful in the case? Not really. There's a spring there. Might be of some use. Okay. Print circuit board. A few bits and pieces. Quite a few screws I can undo. Take anything out, as I say, that I can see. That's loose. That one's out. Try and remember to keep it in camera shot so you can see what I'm doing. There's the electric motor in there. That's certainly something I'll want to salvage. plastic gear wheels there that might be handy for making something, some sort of bot. Sticky tape's pretty good stuff. Hmm. That's a cross-head screw, but my screwdriver doesn't touch it. Obviously need to get a different one. that. Nice big spring. Right, that's loose. Sandy, take the tension off that and I can get the belt off. There we go. That belt may be useful for something one day. Probably a good idea to throw these cartridges away so I don't get it all over myself. Oh, 
belt may be useful at some time or other. And ribbon cable may or may not be useful. There's probably somebody out there who really wants some of these bits to repair something. Sorry. Pulley might be useful. Spring. Hmm. That's obviously power supply. can't quite read what it says on it. That's because I'm looking at it upside down, am I? No. Maybe I'll put my glasses on. Don't know where they are. Oh well. Amazing. Put my glasses on and I can read things. 222 volty input. Output 24 volts, 1 amp. Might be useful for something. Let's take the printed circuit board off. Mm, that screwdriver's not touching. That's better. Right size screwdriver makes quite a difference. Okay. So that must have a, I would assume, some sort of stepper motor in there, or driver to drive the motors. I doubt whether you can salvage them individually. Got a couple of push buttons, push switches, old style USB port. That's the that's where the power goes in, so it's 24 volt goes in there. And that looks to me like a couple of well. Be a, a diode and a photosensitive resistor. It'll be some sort of counter. When I say counters. Um, where are we? Counter, stepper, whatever. Let's take that off. That's a handy little connecting wire. Those are all soldered in place. Well, sorry about that guys. Um, my camera ran out of memory and I hadn't realised it had stopped recording. Um, not quite sure where it ran out of memory. So, basically I've got to this bit now where I've got the electric motor there. All right. Unfortunately, it doesn't tell me what voltage it is. Never mind, we'll find out. I shan't uh, disconnect it yet. Might be, might be able to play around with the board a bit and try and get, try and get it working separately. Anyway, we got another motor down here to get out. There we got a LED set up to check the rotation of the wheels. A little transmitter and receiver, or whatever you want to call it. Detector. You won't be able to see with this camera, but this plastic wheel here has obviously got 
markings on it that that detector can count as they go flying past so it knows how far around it's rotating. I suppose it's a pretty good guess it might be a 24 volt motor but you never know without checking the electrics. Anyway, it actually says QK10908RD88 RD eight eight five two two seven O one made in China. Which doesn't really help if you want to know what voltage it is. But we can play with that sometime. Just looking at the circuit board, see what's on it. We got uh, a few capacitors. What's that? 470 microfarads, 100 microfarad, 100 microfarad. A couple of push switches. As I say, another detector of some sort there as well. LED detector. Okay, what we've got left in here, say some gear wheels, which are the sort of things I'm looking for to make cars or bots. That looks interesting, no idea what it is, but it actually looks like a pumping mechanism. That might be useful for something to experiment with. Nice few gear wheels there. some ink on me now but clearly that's two soft tubes that go to the bottom of the ink there just a rough guess and I've no idea that might be to clean off the bottom of the print head that would make sense wouldn't it so that may be to suck off the excess ink. I'm making that up as I go along so I've no idea, but it could well be. But either way, that's going to be some sort of pumping. Something you might be able to use as a pump. Something to play with. Got another um, LED sensor there that obviously detects when that one goes round. Nice big lump there that flies around, and that obviously gets counted as it goes around there. So that'll be fun to play with. What have we got left? It's actually a screw under there I can't get to. That I can see. So we got uh, rubber or foam, reasonably nice bar that might be useful for an axle. And we got some gears that might be useful for axles too. And we got a, a toothed band there that we can use to drive it. 
so they look pretty useful. In fact, I can see how that's going to come apart. Lift that off there. Same with that one. Lift it off. Is that going to come free? Yeah. One more there. It's holding that in place. Oh. So we've gained a few plastic cogs or gears. Might have to save that because that's the axle for that fella. What else have we got? Got some foam that's uh, obviously soaking up the surplus ink. That's what that is, that's completely full, so we want to chuck that in a bin, I think. Other than that, I don't think there's much left that we're going to use. It's got a bit of foam up the middle, but that's it. Okay, a few screws. Old spring. But that's it, so that's the plastic casing that I've got no use for at all. Those bits of foam, we don't want them. That plastic case we don't want. So there's a fair few bits of plastic we don't want. A few screws. Oh, this, this has got a few springs on it as well that might be useful. I suppose what I ought to do is summarise what was good. Electric motors are going to be good. That toothed band might be useful for something. That pumping mechanism or suction might be useful. And it's certainly got a good few plastic gears that I can use and that 250 volt to 24 volt power unit might be useful for something so reasonably good scavenge in there I should have to find out what those what those motors can do get some voltage into them see what I can drive them with those gears there and potentially some axles a fair old bit of plastic to go in the bin I suppose if I'm a good boy I separate the plastic from the metal so we can dump the metal in one bin and the plastic in another Okay, so there you go, that's an Epson printer of some sort or other, I didn't actually see a label on it anywhere. Might be on the cover that's missing. Job done. Nearly missed a bit. In the uh, printer head assembly, or the ink assembly, Got another bit of uh, circuitry in here. Yeah. No doubt this is that annoying bit that tells you you're using the wrong type of printer ink or is that, no that's HP's tell you that, I don't know if Epson's do that still we've got a little 220 microfarad capacitor there, that'll be useful to me another uh, diode and 
detector there. I expect that checks when the head's in place. So I'll keep that bit as well.